Good morning, birds. Our birding crew went out at dawn, birding along the Niagara River. This birding trip was different than previous ones because my telephoto lens wasn't working, so we just had a short zoom lens to work with. Still enough to identify some birds like this American robin, or this peregrine falcon who's eating its breakfast, or this belted kingfisher right there. I have a new appreciation for telephoto lenses. Here's a blue jay. We know it's a blue jay mostly because we can hear it. Wait, if we can't see the birds, we can still use our other senses and a really helpful app called BirdNet, which identifies bird calls. Check this out. We see no birds, but we can hear them. It's actually working. What else is out there? I started hearing bird sounds everywhere and wondering what they are. Birding at dawn made the birds look majestic, and the quiet and solitude was really relaxing. I think dawn is probably my favorite birding experience. And we did see some other types of birds, like with our eyes. American crows were cawing in a group. A murder. Canada geese were crossing the road, but I don't know why. Another American robin with places to go. A double-crested cormorant flying toward the river. A morning dove in the morning. A cardinal trying to sing with a heckling audience. Rock doves rocking out. And a beaver. Also, Sasquatch quality footage of a gray catbird. It's right there! Catbird is real! So I learned two things today. First, even if you don't have a telephoto lens or binoculars, you can still go birding. Listening to their songs is usually enough to identify birds, and you can often hear more birds than you can see. Second, birding at dawn is the best. It's definitely worth it, even though you kind of have to wake up early. So thank you for joining us on this adventure. You can keep learning about birds by subscribing. If you'd like to join the BioBush flock, you can support us on Patreon or as a channel member. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome. <laughs>